today we had the gloomy and soggy weather well advertised, thankfully staying away from any severe weather, but we got a healthy dose of rain across much of the area, up to a half an inch for most spots. Galena looks like the winner with this one, a recording of about an inch of rain mostly this morning, though they did have a few showers escape by heading into the afternoon. But otherwise, this is great news in terms of the soil conditions. The drought monitor released earlier on today showing improvements from a couple weeks ago when the entire area was very dry. Now those conditions remain across only across the northwestern part of our area, but no doubt that will certainly improve thanks to today's rainfall. But we do dry out here heading into the next few days. So as you're heading out to school tomorrow, taking the kids out to the bus stop or you're heading out to work, no rain to worry about just waking up to some clouds that are continuing to clear out. Otherwise, pretty chilly to start. Temperatures near freezing, but with plenty of sunshine overhead, we're going to be quickly getting back into the low to mid 50s tomorrow. Just a touch warmer from where we were today up to about 54. So it's going to be a pretty beautiful day out there with mostly sunny skies, a little bit of a breeze, but nothing like what we had earlier this week and nothing like what we'll see heading into the holiday weekend. Saturday especially looks to turn very windy. Gusts up to 35 to 40 miles per hour are possible. That does also help our temperatures warm up, bringing in some warmer air. So we could be knocking on the door of 60 on Saturday. But the things that that does bring, though, is a cold front. That will bring much colder temperatures for the second half of the weekend for St. Patrick's Day itself. Still a little bit breezy, but with temperatures in the 40s only, it's going to feel a whole lot colder. Also watching a chance for some potential snow showers later on in the day, but there's a lot of question marks around that, so just stay tuned to the forecast. Otherwise, not necessarily seeing too many impacts with that. Temperatures continue to cool off into Monday, where we could struggle to get out of the 30s. But then Tuesday, it's not just primary day, it's also the first day of spring, astronomical spring, which means it's the equinox. That means equal day and night. That's when the sun lines up right on the equator. So that means the days are going to get longer than the nights from here on out. Spring officially begins Tuesday at just after 10 o'clock at night. And we'll certainly be feeling like spring after Tuesday as we get back up into the 40s, 50s by this time next week. And in your most accurate, 10 day forecast. We kind of bob in between the 40s and the 50s heading into next week. Overall, staying pretty dry over the next seven days. But unlike today when we were having that soggy weather, but we got back onto the dartboard for the four degree guarantee. Cash total of 13. We'll look to keep it going heading into tomorrow.